Yo, this is Binky the Hunter. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my snow goose setup. A few days back, I made a video on the Canada goose, how to set up your uh, your Canada goose setup so you can use it for short range shooting. And I had a lot of comments in the comment section. Already expected that kind of. If I could do the same for the magpies and for the snow goose, what? I noticed that that works a little bit different for the snow goose for example they don't land everywhere there's only a few spots I know where you can kind of get them to land a lot of spots they don't even attempt to land so and since I'm not really sure where those spots are exactly I know a few because I asked around but and I don't hunt snow goose that much to be honest so but I will mess around with it some more, see if I can find some other spots and see if it works with putting it up like I did in the Canada Goose setup, letting them land naturally. But for now, I'll show you this spot. It's at the frozen lake. It's right here. Here is the coordinates of my blind. And the decoys are right over there. Again, they're about 60 meters away. So the idea is they circle above those decoys and then when I use the short range caller they come glide right towards this blind. Only the timing with the snow goose, I, like I said I haven't hunted them that much but my timing is not that good. I have the idea it's more variable as well than with the Canada goose. So with the Canada goose I know exactly which time to call, well exactly most of the time to get them gliding straight towards me and here I struggle a little bit more. So. Let's see if we can get it right now. But this is the setup I use and many times when I do it correctly they land inside this blind. I have footsteps or yeah, tracks inside of the blind in the end of the hunt. So, But for now let's wait for a flock of geese and we'll continue the video from there. I hear breakers way up there. Hard to see, but they fly so high on this map sometimes you don't even hear the flock. So what I mostly do is I just keep calling once in a while, even if I hear nothing. Because this happens quite a lot what you see here. Now, let's hope we can time this one right. See, quick, too late. Damn it. That's the down part when you're on your own. With two players, it's way easier. Oh, damn it, and now they're spooked. Bastards. <laughs> Never mind. Some broke, only two. Come on, some more, please. Oh, there's more. I never even saw those coming. I'm an idiot. Nope. Did get him, but that's not the way I want him to get it to come in. Didn't they even spook? They didn't even spook. Okay. <laughs> ah! How did I miss that? Idiot. <laughs> ah, never mind. <laughs> well, we did hit one, but it's not the way I want them to come in. It wasn't ideal. Three breakers again. But the timing on this one is way more random I always have the idea than with the Canada Goose. The Canada Goose I can really predict well, but these guys are way more tricky for some reason. This is good. Am I quick enough? Ah, what the hell, I hate that. Now they're gonna spook right away. And 
I missed. Shouldn't even try those shots. I hate those shots. Next shot. Switch to the pulsar because that draws faster. I know it blocks more of my sight when I shoot, but I hear geese somewhere. I hear breakers ready as well from up there. Yeah. Now let's see if I can do better with the pulsar bow. Right about now, I'm guessing. Quick, that's better. Nice, thank you. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell? Told you they land in the blind. <laughs> Damn goose. But that one was better. That one actually came towards me, so. Oh, wait, there's one more. That was a very bad shot. Let's try one more, like an idiot. Never will hit this one, but... No idea where the arrow went. Shouldn't even try those shots, but... Oh well. I'm a pancake, so I should try those shots. Here it is. Female. One thing with the snake bite, with the snake bite, not the snake bite, the pulsar is when you load it like this, this takes a long time. But when you uh, when I would do it like this now, when I grab it now, it will take a long time before I'm ready to shoot. But as soon as you did this once, when I put it away now, and I grab it again, the arrow is still right there. So with this bow you are the quickest from yeah, bare hands to taking a shot. You can aim real fast with this one. Well, with the snake bite and all other bows that takes way longer. But make sure you preload this arrow like it is now. So you don't have to pull it out of the quiver, otherwise you're way slower than with any other bow. Two breakers again. There were only two, so... Let's see, let them circle a full circle. And right about now, I'm guessing. That's actually perfect. I didn't know which one to choose. I should have picked the other one. Here we go. Now let them make a full circle. What the hell, I'm, I moved my mouse the moment I shot, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Hey, there's still some more. Hello. Load this bow, quick, quick, quick. I need to use short range right about now, idiot. It's too late. Nice, did get him. Okay, good. There's another flock coming.
Come on, break. see three more so we're gonna focus on these four here five let's see let to make about a full circle oh no, they, these are way earlier quick ah did get him was very lucky but you need some luck in classic are those not spooking they're not oh they are But, now I did get a few, so, let me see, what did we kill, there's one right here, 4 meters, tiny female, there's one right here, it looks bigger, that's a male, 9.5 meters, I think I hit another one right here, here it is, 4.1, that's a decent one actually, 4 meters as well. So, as you can see, it does work, this spot, but it's not such a detailed guide as last one, how I would set it up. This spot I just know, I tried the hot springs first, a spot that a lot of people like to use for their goose setup, but I absolutely hated this spot for some reason. The dog didn't work well, the animals, the, the geese didn't fly in the way I wanted, and they land on bad spots, I don't know, I was, I thought this place sucked, but some people seem to love it, but I tried this one then, and when I put it up like this, it works perfectly to get them close range for the close range shooting, for your last mission of the of the snow goose mission pack, it needs you, you need to kill one with any bow I think, or any compound bow, not 100% sure, but this is the way I do it and like I said earlier when you're alone you kind of have to take the pulsar otherwise you're not quick enough to switch from short range caller to bow but when you're with two players this becomes a lot easier so my advice is actually to do it with in the multiplayer and do it with a friend one calls them in and the other one's ready for with the bow that's the easiest way to do it Let's see if you can get these to break these are just two the bigger the flocks, the higher your chances, of course, that one comes gliding in perfectly. So, with two like this, you really need to be lucky for them to cooperate. These are not even breaking at all. They are. There they go. There's another flock coming. Yep, a big flock there. Might just wait for that one. That might be a better idea. Come on, break. Here we go. That's a better number. No, let them circle again. And then right about now we're gonna use the collar. And that one comes in perfectly. Thank you very much. Never take these shots like I'm doing now. You missed them anyway. <laughs> Is there more? No. That was it. Let me see. Where did I kill this one? Here it is. Not a male. Nine meters. So. This is how I do it with my snow goose setup. 